Mariah Mills is back again, this time making a very shocking claim against Zion Williamson. In a video posted to her Instagram, she alleges that Zion Williamson has been beating her since 2022. She also mentioned that she was receiving monthly payments from the 22-year-old because he didn't want her to go to the press to sabotage his brand endorsements. You just listen to the video. You guys, I literally did not want to come to the internet and I'm just tired of saving face for this man that's completely disrespecting me to the world and I literally have to take this. Every time I come on the internet, people are bashing me because of this man, literally. And I'm tired of it. He knows, he, he said he's gonna send me $62,000. I have yet to receive that since June. I'm literally here, like, he's literally a liar. You guys, everything he says, he's a liar. He's not who he says he is. I literally been saving face. I did not want to come to the world and let you guys know what he has been doing to me, my entire relationship with him. He is a woman beater and the NBA needs to know this. <sighs> I literally did not want to come to this because I know he has so many endorsements. But Zion Williamson is a woman beater. <sighs> And the reason he was paying me off is so I won't come to the world and tell everybody. <laughs> in all honesty, guys, this shit was funny in the beginning. But now, sis is going way too far. Domestic violence ain't nothing to play with. And if you look at the video, you can see how she fake crying. Zion Williamson, man, I think it's time for you to get a restraining order and a cease and desist order. This is borderline psychotic behavior if we're being extremely honest. This is the same woman who is making all types of allegations against Zion Williamson, trying to ruin his reputation, trying to get him traded over a failed relationship. Like the man moved on, you gotta move on as well. This is also the same woman who was interviewed by TMZ a couple days ago and said she has plenty other options because basketball players are hitting her up after going public about her alleged relationship with Zion. What is the situation with you and Zion? Like, where do you guys stand? Um. I would say we're in a halfway good, halfway, you know. I don't really want to say too much about it. So it's like you're you kind of you're you're okay that you guys are chill. Yeah, we're like chill. We're good. Okay. Yeah. I I know there was a con the conversation about a tape being released. Did his legal reach out to you at all for that? Or um, nobody has reached out to me. I noticed like a lot of um, people online are like making up stories saying that people are. I haven't received any letters or anything about legal anything, and I know he won't any of those things to me so i'm not worried about that so not worried about that yeah all right and th th is there a chance for a reconciliation with you too i like going back to what i asked you in the beginning like i mean he can't get enough of this so. really and what do you uh, think about her like the other girl in his life like what's going on there um all i can say is um, you know sometimes you make mistakes or whatever i don't want to say too much about that okay yeah. do you so how's, how's work been since this has gone on like has there been any um, Work increase been bad? Like, is it better for you that this happened? Or? Um, I've been getting like a lot of backlash and stuff, but work has been, um, well, backlash from like his fans or whatever, but right. work has been the same and, you know, it's been good for me. Okay. I've been getting a lot of offers, but. Okay, yeah. are you taking them or what? Like. So I feel like. Um, and any of them basketball themed? I have to ask you that. Uh, yeah, a lot of them have been a lot of basketball Really? Teams. Okay. Yeah. Actually, a lot of um, basketball players have been like contacting me since they found out, you know, about me. Okay. Yeah. Now, I, I do have to ask about the tattoo on the face. There's a combo about that. What happened yeah. with that? Well, all I can say is I have a makeup now, so that's all I'm going to say about that. And I think with everything that's going on, it's starting to get to Zion Williams in a little bit because his recent social media activity has fans concerned. The NBA star shared a snippet from the Notorious B.I.G. song titled suicidal thoughts on his instagram story the post featured a transcription of the lyrics i can't believe suicide is on my effing mind i want to leave sparking online concern about zion williamson's well-being after the mariah mills allegation people took to twitter to share their opinions regarding the situation take a look at some of them somebody tweeted women have way too much power over you for you to be moving mad and just sleeping around with ransoms another person also tweeted i hate to be one of those women who say another woman is lying about being beat but this woman is clearly lying. Another person also tweeted, Imagine if she had started with this. People would have believed her and get Zion Williamson cancelled. This is 100% fact. Another person also tweeted, Ma'am, you are not supposed to lead with extortion before trying to meet to a celebrity who left you on red. Another person also tweeted, Dr. Omar has yet to address this situation. He doesn't want to mess up his cash flow coming from a certain demographic. If this was a white woman pulling this mess with a black athlete, he would have been all over this making a video about it. 
So yeah, that's what's going on in the Zion Williamson side of things. Let me know what you think in the comments down below.